Luke, Sarda, every all the new characters. So um, let's see how he utilizes. And we got the Hinata support again. We know her. She she literally eats up the battlefield like it's pizza. So um, let's see. Hmm. We got the Shino with the air combo. Yeah, Jutsu even. Yeah, and Shino's Jutsu can linger for, I think, about 10 seconds. So it's really good. It is It is really distracting. I think the worst we have in this game is Madara's. New Madara. In terms of lingering, sorry. What do you think? It's close, but Shino's Jutsu can be used in the air. True. And you can use three of them True. at the same time. So, in my opinion, that's even better. And it's striking the enemy while well, Madara kind of stays in place. Yeah. So I would say Ishino's is probably a bit better. The match so far is being quite defensive because everyone's... And I yeah, see... They're I trying see to gauge one another. Ninja with the hops. He's trying to monitor his stubs and not have to use Yeah. Them. So Yuuz was being smart here. Now so Hey! He could go in! Ah, uh, he did. He did. I, don't, I think he was intending to do a ground, comp, uh, ground dash, but it would have worked either way. I've never been good with Ina, so I'm really curious. She's extremely good in this game, actually. They uh, made her a bit faster. Oh, door break team ultimate. Nice! I just like to see it, even though it will have reduced damage. Exactly. Barto's gonna throw it, land yeah, and say, but he I'm has, the man. He only has one sub, so it's pretty good, you know, to reset the pace of the game. You That's know, now he gets to run away and uh, wait a bit. See yeah. that sub -sang. You see that I'm the man pose? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Slate degrees. Wild rolling eyes. <laughs> Alright, so he has the guard break about to happen. His guard is, uh, is red. He has to be very careful. Oh, counter bait. Did you see? I saw that. So you can block your dash. You know, you can stop your dash just by using the block button. It's perfect to bait counters. Ooh, taking in maximum Look damage. Look at the damage in the hair combo. Sick. Ooh, it's extremely dangerous think, oh, to jump. Ooh. Yeah, it's really dangerous to jump when the opponent is doing a team ultimate because, as I said, sometimes when you land, you cannot sub or block. I'm starting to see that as a thing. How did I not know that? I love Boruto. Um, people are using the jutsu and then following up with a tilt. Yeah, pressure. Exactly. Gives the opponent away. If Ninja Spooky... <gasps> wow. Nice use of Shino. But he has no subs. He'd have to be incredibly lucky. Yeah, yeah he lost that one, but it's not yeah, over. Try to go for the grab and... Uh, yeah. Going for a grab when you have no sub is, is extremely risky. I really like this matchup. I'm actually generally surprised it's this good. It's, it's a good balance of aggression and defensiveness. Exactly. Well, to be fair, um, Yusu's team is is really powerful because of Naruto's you know, aerial targeting wrestling game thing that cannot be dodged. And, and he has the MS really Sasuke, and he has the MS Sasuke, so yeah. I wouldn't say he's uh, really defensive. Oh, no, no, no. I'd say he's get a, has a good balance, though. They're, they're playing with a good balance, not their character. All right. Ooh, nice block in time. I would have subbed that. His guard is about to break. He has to be careful. Mm, I wonder I wonder when they just... Okay, Shino lingering to two. Interesting. Yusu is fighting so hard. Because right now this is... He, he's got nothing to lose. Exactly, but right now it's free damage for him. Because exactly. he won one round. So whenever he loses, he gets back his health. So, so he can be as reckless... Well, not as reckless as he wants, but he can be a little bit more. Yeah, he can try to go for uh, risky moves to, to get the most damage out of it. I bet he's going to be a Jutsu too. <laughs> Called it. What's sneaky about uh, the wrestling and a Boruto is that... It vanishes. Yeah, right? it vanishes. It's transparent. And it turns. It tracks you It tracks you, well. you and it's invisible. So many, you know, many people just forget about it. See, that went down. Like, that went directly up. Oh, that's dangerous for Spooky right now. Yeah, it's really dangerous. Look at how long he's held onto that. Yusuf, yo. Yeah. Oh, my God. I hope it's oh my song. god. <laughs> uh, hmm, 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 hmm. The main just, fight is probably going that. to be really interesting to see uh, what kind of team Spooky is going to take uh, to beat Yuse, because Yuse's defense is, is probably as good as Negato's. He definitely knows how to handle the pressure. This battle is not even like. Super wow, super that super actually. Wow, oh. great counter timing. 
I did not expect the Jutsu to land in the first place. Counter again. Yo, this is how good I was with Revolution. I never was able to get in this game. Nice work. I'm not sure about a comeback. Well, actually, it's getting closer and closer. Yeah, his sums are back. So, but yeah, Naruto support. So good. Oh, unfortunate. You know, he's really good with the. Um, I know. Now he has double counter. <laughs> It doesn't work the first time. <laughs> it, it, it messes up the pace of the game for another player who is um, unfocused. Oh, maybe if he had went for a combo straight away. Okay, he has full chakra though, and he has the lingering jutsu of... Ah, my god. It's over. Unfortunate. All right, so the first match was won by Yuz. Nice. He's, he, was, he was playing with an excellent balance of attack and defense. It was just... Uh, good, yeah, good he, he knew how to handle himself when he was out of subs. He, uh, he hanged on to that two person of HP for Did like... You, right? <laughs> That's crazy! He, he was able to play a little bit more reckless with Eno. And I noticed how he cancelled, jumped and did a air combo to try and get the opponent behind him. Exactly. Really nice work. Um, Ninja Spooky did some awesome freaking counters. Yeah. Out of like, what the heck? Where did that come from? Followed up with the Boruto Jutsu and then the water style tilt. So um, let's see who picked this time. Both of them, actually. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know what side I think this is going to go to. <laughs> Kidly. Well, I do now. <laughs> uh, um, but let's see. Let's see. Ooh. Speed difference is. Naruto is actually really good too. Faster. His hitboxes are uh, actually really close to Lee's. He's not as fast, but it works the same way. You cannot really dash at Naruto's uh, combos because you're going to be interrupted. Hmm. The hitboxes have the priorities over whatever you try to do. Is Ninja Spooky sure about Choji? Yeah, it's his dash cut. Oh, dash, dash cut. Right. I was thinking about Aerial Jutsu, if that was as useful. Kid Naruto. Oh, well, he can switch there. Hmm. Kid Naruto has a support, because I'm assuming Kashirama will he be the dominant. He doesn't want Naruto as a support, he just wants Kashirama as a main character so that he can use the uh, Shuriken Jutsu. He's just going to text switch into Naruto. Ah, you're forced, you can see this. You're forced you to use, some? yeah, you can only use that Jutsu from Kashirama if you pick him as a main character, so that's what he's doing. Guys, I didn't know Slave had Sharing Gun, but I actually have seen people do this. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Let's see how this goes. Ashirama's got the range speed, and Lee's got the speed and uh, short combos. To uh, get Ashirama it. will get destroyed by Lee anyway, so that's why you switch tags to, to Naruto right away, because they're kind of similar in the way their hitboxes work. They're from the same game, right? It was from Storm 1. So mm. they haven't been balanced out and tested out the same way the new characters are. Mm. So this Naruto and this Lee are kind of share the same uh, hitboxes. Even though Lee has an advantage and he's a bit faster. And short combo damage, right? It's only Tenten who has a really weak oh, Nice! He was able to utilize the ring. Alright, so now the dash cut is going to be in action. That did not work. Storm gauge has been partially activated. Yeah, you see, use is kind of mashing the circle attack button and uh, it's working. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> Because he's getting the range, he's got combo uh, clones. Yep. And he's kind of safe when he has the clones out. You cannot really be dashed at. Oh, no. Okay, I now the ties are turning and Spooky's uh, coming back. Look at the damage now. Wow. He mm. failed that counter. Hey, that's Spooky's move. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> Lee just casually on fire. Yeah, he tried um, to counter, but here's the thing. You cannot counter when you have the dash cut because the opponent isn't going to get interrupted by your support and not by your counter. Nice too. Yusuf seems to have it in the bag, and you are right. The Hashirama support is turning out to be one of his best assets. It is, because if, you don't, if you're not able to block it while he scores the first Hurricane, then uh, you're going to get hit by the rest. It's tracking so perfectly well. <laughs> no, it looks like Lee is giving him a hard time, but see he's over there. Whoa! And go for okay, extended hair combos. Okay, we just flying now. We just... 
Yeah. Entering a Dragon, Dragon Ball Realms. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dragon Ball Realms. Yo, the stakes. It's no joke. I don't think Spooky is going to be able to come back from this because... Yeah, you says is uh, my god, what? a tracking wrestling and look at the damage. I can't. Awakening with Lee. I don't know how that is. I mean... The gates are opened. I don't know. But he has no subs and, and oh, he can do an ultimate or something. Oh boy. It's over. Fuse that was, takes this. That was, that, was, that was savage from Yusuf's end. Absolutely savage. He gained full control of the match, the matches. Well, second match especially. First match was a little, really, like a little bit more interesting. Um, damn. He really locked it down. You were right and predicted well with that Hashirama support. Yeah, it's a really good support. Interesting, interesting. I felt that perhaps if he had used, I don't know. You can't really, I mean, I just, I guess, I guess that's just how it turned out. I don't know, I, I, I actually, I'm surprised. I thought like Lee was unbeatable. Yeah, um, I can't say I'm surprised uh, because Yuzu is one of the, the winner of the Peace 4 version, uh, the Peace 4 tournaments. As I said, the Peace 4 version has so many players, so the mm. best compete, you know, it's uh, the level on Peace 4 is higher than, than on PC or on Xbox One. And Spooky was a VIP player. I think he was the last VIP player, actually. Mm. So um, he's a, a very good player, too. Yeah, he's really good. But he was fighting the, the elite on this game right now. So In, the uh, in, in these um, beginning quarter stages. So... Interesting. I mean, <laughs> unfortunate to get it so early, isn't it? Because um, they were putting their all into that. I could see. Um, maybe a few slip ups here and there, but they definitely try. That I mean, you just get the upper hand, and once you do, it's almost like you're not really sure what to do. I'm not sure. What do you think about the awakening, um, for example? It, it can be really good and and really powerful. But here's the thing: he awakened as a last. Um, like that was his last resort. Mm. But that's not how awakening works in this game. Because if you awaken when you have no subs, mm. you're dead. And that's what happened here. If you yeah. want to awaken, you have to force the opponent to waste his sub first. Yeah. Then you awaken when you have yours. Then you're you're guaranteed to like almost win the fight. And it's like it's not a set rule, but it's like a ninety percent chance of happening. Yeah. We've seen the first the, match. The goal is gonna is gonna you know different. forcing the opponent to waste his sub so that you can awaken and then you have your full power and your subs. But if you awaken when the opponent has four subs and you have zero. Yeah. You're it's, gonna, it's very yeah. risky. Like you, it's extremely. Plus, risky. if you're in awakening stage, usually that means you're not doing too good. So yeah. that would be too risky to go fight the guy who's beating you with no subs. Yeah, Yusuf took advantage of extending the aerial combos. So you know, he went to the Dragon Ball realm. Yeah, but he Super Saiyan mode, <laughs> and uh, he flew <laughs> to the sky and never handed his combos. Yeah, time. and he took advantage of of kind of just maximizing the damage and you know he wanted to secure that win and that would make change the pace of everything because once you're that far in into a round what can you do you know you'll panic you you just will exactly you know? and they were they were both using um i would say equally powerful teams yeah um definitely they were it was not like uh an imbalanced in yeah. the teams in the matchups here it, they both were <laughs> Like some of the best teams in the game, yeah. So that really was pretty nice cool to fight to to see that fight anyway go through and uh, yeah. You could you can see clear preparation for you know battle situations like this, and it's it's really good, really good stuff. I hope we get really close matches though, more and more more and more close matches. That'd be really nice to see. Um, I like I like the way this turned out though. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, uh, there's going to be a lot more fights, and they're going to be even more interesting than this now because we're going to get into the quarterfinals real soon. So anyway, back to Melee.